<clears throat> oh yeah, family, it's morning time. Welcome to the celebration, morning motivation. I am Deacon Ford and we're here once again to give God our glory, our honor, our praise. For this right here is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. It's morning time, family. Let's get into this word and see what the word is saying. Okay, good morning to you. Each and every single one of y'all, thank y'all for being a part of the morning motivational family. Shout out to y'all. This is the day that the Lord has made. Good morning to you. Thank y'all for logging on. I see you on here, Sister Allison, Sister Pam. Good morning to you, Sister V. Good morning to you. It's morning time, y'all. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice. I say, this is the day that the Lord has made. Good morning to you, sister. Good morning to you, brother Trent. Good morning to you, brother morning. Good morning time. Celebrate. Y'all see it right there in the word. Freely given up. Now, I ain't make it up. Brother Jesse, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning to each and every single one of y'all. Thank y'all for logging on and being a part of the morning motivation family. Listen, man, good morning to each and every single one of y'all. Thank y'all for logging on and being a part of the morning motivational family. I want to give a big shout out to each and every single one of y'all who is on the live right now. Those who are going to log in at a later time. Those who hitting that share button, Sister Natasha. Keyshawn, I see you, Sister Allison. Thank y'all for spreading the word and getting the message out to as many people as possible. This morning, y'all, I ain't gonna lie. This morning was definitely a bit of a struggle this morning. And uh, I'm still processing myself right now. You know, um, I know uh, uh, yesterday was Mother's Day and, you know, I pray, you know, all the mothers, you know, um, uh, got the respect, the honor and the love that they reserved, that they deserved. I pray that you know that 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 is the case. Um, but um, on yesterday morning, y'all have heard, you know, morning motivational family um, ask for prayer for Sister Cheyenne. Y'all know every morning I always say, y'all, Sister Cheyenne, we're praying for you. We're praying for you. We're praying for you. Well, on yesterday morning, um, Sister Cheyenne made her transition. So Sister Cheyenne is no longer with us. After a long, um, you know, fight with cancer. Um, Sister Cheyenne transitioned yesterday on Mother's Day at 8 o'clock. So we definitely want to keep uh, Mother and Deacon Robinson in our prayers. We definitely want to keep Deacon Mayfield and his family in our prayers. Ashley and Anaya, we want to keep them in our prayers, man. Uh, yeah. It was, yesterday was real, 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 very, very different. Very different, you know. You know, you got this... In your mind, you you know you know you 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 everybody is celebrating. Not you, you know you're supposed to be celebrating. You know everybody is celebrating, and then you and and in your mind you know that there's this family who's hurting, who's hurting real bad. You know because the loss of their loved one. And so, um, yeah, yeah. Y'all come on in, big hug, man. Y'all big hug, big hug, big hug to each and every single one of y'all. I love y'all. Listen, man. If y'all got people in your life, man, if y'all got people in your life, man, make sure your people know you love them. Be intentional about the way you spend time with people. Be very intentional about that, man. Be intentional about forgiveness. Be intentional about the way you forgive people, man, and, 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 and because, you know, we truly living in a different time. They used to say, here the day, gone tomorrow. Well, now it's here the day, gone today. God is truly calling people home. That's what I believe personally. I've been telling, I was talking to my auntie last night. Shout out to my auntie, Miss Barbara Norris. Hey, hold on. Shout out to everybody, man. Listen, we finna get into this word. And the word coincides with what I'm speaking about. So we're going to get into it. Once again, y'all, we're looking at Isaiah chapter 41, verse number 10. Isaiah 30, 41, verse number 10. Let us pray. Father God, as we come to you right now in the mighty name of your son, Christ Jesus, God, we thank you. We love you. We bless your name for you are great and you're worthy to be praised. As we gather together in this fashion, our prayer, O oh God, is that. You will bless us with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the things that we read, that you would allow your Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth and all revelation. Father, we thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen, amen, amen. Isaiah 41, we're looking at verse number 10. Shout out to those who are still logging on. Thank y'all for being a part of the morning motivational family. If y'all don't mind, y'all hit that share button. Get the message out to as many people as possible. Isaiah 41, looking at verse number 10, it says, Fear not, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. The word says this morning, it says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will hold, help you. I will uphold you with the righteousness of my right hand. May God add a blessing to the reader and the hearer, but most importantly, the doer of his holy word. And so going back, you know, speaking on, you know, our dear sister, Sister Cheyenne transitioning on yesterday, you know, it tries to engulf you. And what I'm talking about is fear, especially when death comes so close to your dwelling, whether it be a family member, someone that you knew, someone that you associated with, you know, sometimes even hearing a story. I was talk like I said, I was talking to my auntie last night and she told me a story of a family that lost three family members in five days. Three family members, two babies, and then the father of those children in five days all passed away. And like I said, I truly believe like God is calling people home, man. People going to be here one day and just be gone. And we have to be intentional about the way we love on people, about the way we appreciate people, and about the way we honor people. And we have to be intentional about forgiveness, because life is too short for us to be walking around carrying baggage, holding on to past hurts and pains and traumas that are stopping us from actually thriving right now. We could be thriving right now, but we can't even move because we're incapacitated based on the toxicity that we're holding inside of our bodies and our hearts. This ain't the time for that. This is not the time for that family. It's time to value life, to celebrate. I mean, truly celebrate this breath of life that God has given us and not to live in fear because he said, fear not. I am with thee. Don't be dismayed because I am your God. If you have accepted him as your God, you don't got nothing to fear. Even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you ain't got nothing to fear because he with us. And he says, I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. Those who are going through this morning, the Bible says, Isaiah chapter 41, verse number 10. It says, be not dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with the righteousness of my right hand. And the Bible tells us that Jesus sits on the right hand of God, making intercession for me and you, man. He's sitting right there. He's praying on our behalf. And so as we go through what we got to go through, just be encouraged, knowing that God says that he is your God and he's going to walk with you. He's going to carry you. He's going to comfort you. And we pray this morning that those who are in need of comfort, we pray this morning, those that are going through dealing with loss and grief, you know, and hurt, betrayal, all those things we pray this morning and our prayer this morning is that God will comfort their hearts that they will comfort that their hearts will be comforted that they will be encouraged have your way oh God in the lives of your people I'm going to pray right now Father God as we pray we come to you this morning for on behalf of those that are going through we come to you in the mighty name of your son Christ Jesus and we pray pray that you will just comfort the hearts of those that are going through God that you would just, you know, continue to walk with them. Those who are dealing with loss that just happened on yesterday or, or two weeks or last month or last year or five years who are dealing with loss. Comfort them, God. Hold their hand as they walk through. 
Give them what they need. Have your way. We thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Y'all come on in real quick. Y'all know how we do this, man. Y'all come on in. Big hug to each and every single one of y'all. I love y'all. God bless you. Faith over fear. God over everything together. We have made love great again. Love never lost its power. It just lost its popularity. And it's been a rap a long time ago for the foolishness, man. T I'm telling you. I'm telling you, man. It's been a rap a long time ago for the foolishness. Cut the foolishness out. Time too short for that. Life is too unpredictable for that. You know, the stock value on life done went way up. And we got to celebrate each and every opportunity that God give us, man. We're praying for... You know, uh, like I said, Sister Cheyenne's family, her daughters and everybody. Um, and um, we praying one for another, y'all. We pray one for another, right? I love y'all. God bless you. We'll catch you on the next time. If you don't mind, hit that share button. Let's get this message out to as many people as possible. Oh, you blessed. Truly blessed. To see another see day. Another we day. all blessed y'all to see this God day. Great and he's Come on, man. Y'all thanks. We thank you. Yeah. We give him all glory. Let's give God all glory. Honor, all that praise. And we celebrate this his breath of life that he has given to us. us. Let's go. Let's go. Y'all, this, is, this the is the day. I love y'all. God bless you. Y'all rejoice and be glad. Live life it. intentionally, y'all. This is the day that the Lord has made. Live life intentionally, man. And please. And it is. I say, life this is too short. This is the day that we And this is the day he gave us. Let's rejoice and be glad and be intentional. All right? Catch y'all on the next go round.